ಕಡೆ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಹೆಚ್ ಆಶಾ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಎ ಡಿ ವಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಪದ್ಮನಲ್ಲಿ ಟುಡೆ ಐ ಡೆಮಾನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾನ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೋಡ್ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾನ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಡೆಮಾನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪಿನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪಿನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಗ್ರೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಪಿನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಈಸ್ ಗ್ರೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪಿನ್ ಟೂ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ದ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದ ರೆಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಒನ್ ಕಿಲೋ ಓಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಪಿನ್ ಟೂ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಪಿನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ Uh, sorry, this resistance is known as feedback resistance. The value of this is also, we have taken it as 1 kilo ohm. And pin 7 is given to plus 5 volts. Pin 4 is given to minus 5 and this terminal is grounded. Okay. So now I will measure the input voltage and output voltage in this one. The input voltage we have to measure. at this point so this is coming around 0.327 and output voltage we should measure across the pin number 6 here it is coming around minus 0.404 so let us tabulate these values in the tabular column so let me take the reading one more time okay so i will take the input it is coming around 0.328 0.328 we are getting and output we are getting it as minus 0.408 minus 0.408 input resistance we have taken it as 1 kilo ohm and feedback resistance also we have taken as 1 kilo ohm gain is the ratio of output to the input so this is nothing but 0 0.40 0.408 divided by 0.328 will get it as 1.2 with the negative sign but theoretical gain is 1 as both the resistances its a ratio of feedback to the input resistance it is coming out to be 1 repeat the experiment for different input voltages by changing this knob to 0 0.4 0 0.5 etc and tabulate the readings so every time we have to compare the voltage gains experimentally and theoretically the values must be nearer to each other this is all about the inverting mode now i'll explain now i'll explain the non inverting mode non inverting mode connections just similar to this one the only difference is the input source now it is given to pin number 3 and the input resistance should be grounded here so i have interchanged the connection in my breadboard okay now in the same procedure we have to take a readings both input and output the input is coming around it's not coming possible now i'll measure the input at the pin 3 so if i take a input it is coming around 0.327 and output as usual we have to measure at pin number 6 it is 0.62 4 we are getting now i'll tabulate the readings i'll take readings one more time output is coming as 0.619 0 0.619 and i'll measure the input once again at the pin number 3 0.327 we are getting 0.327 input resistance is 1 kilo ohm feedback resistance is 1 kilo ohm calculate the gain by dividing output to the input 
that is 0 0.619 divided by 0.327 we are getting it as 1.89 1.89 do the theoretical calculation using this formula 1 plus rf by ri so this ratio will be 1 1 plus 1 will be 2 so write down this gain as theoretical gain as 2 these two must be comparable in the same fashion as in the inverting mode you just repeat the experiment for different set of inputs tabulate the reading so this completes the study of op amp and the inverting and non-inverting mode thank you